Hi everyone, we are back to recommend more titles from our digital collections that you can enjoy from home. Why don't you get us started, Mary? Hi, thank you. Today I'm going to recommend a book called The Ancestors. It's by Danielle Trisani. It tells the story of a girl who's living in New York and one day she receives a letter in the mail addressed to Countess Alberta Mata Blanco. And that for case or curiosity, she opens it up and learns that she has not only inherited this title, but she's inherited this castle in Italy. So um, she goes on this luxury trip over to the castle to check it out. It's in a remote town, hundreds of miles away from any other city. And then she finds out that her family has this whole history that she never knew about. Um, the book is filled with a lot of Gothic elements. There are fairy tale qualities to it because there are questions about whether there may be monsters out in the woods that have been um, legends for quite a long time. Anyway, um, what I enjoyed about it is the gothic element. The, the setting is superb. It's a, kind of that eerie atmospheric sort of setting. Um, so if you're a person who liked um, Daphne de Maria's Rebecca, it's along those same vein as that. And um, it's a great escape for everything right now so if you just really want to escape to a totally different world this might be a good book for you again that's the ancestors by danielle trisani available on libby thank you caroline all right my book is what if it's us by becky albertelli and adam silvera it's a young adult book and it's suitable for high schoolers or older it's available as an audiobook on hoopla as well the novel is a cute quirky romance with the realistic struggles and solutions that follows the summer romance of arthur and ben not only does it show their relationship struggles, it also shows the struggles of friendship as each of the boys' friends get involved in their summer. With a diverse cast of characters, the comedy and pop culture references bring charm to this already interesting love story. What do you have for us, Laura? Thanks, Caroline. Uh, my book recommendation today is All the Ways We Said Goodbye by Beatriz Williams, Lauren Willig, and Karen White. This is the third book written by the W Trio, and I think it's the best one yet. There are three narrators. One is in World War I, defending her home in France. One is in World War II, fighting in the resistance. And the third is in the 1960s, uncovering a mystery at the Paris Hotel Ritz. All the narratives connect back to each other and this glamorous hotel. The novel is available on Overdrive as ebook and audiobook, and it's also available on Hoopla as an ebook. I listened to it and I highly recommend it. The voices of the narrators were really engaging and so it made it easy to follow. What about you, Catherine? Thank you so much, Laura. I actually have a recommendation for a film and a book, so you're gonna get a twofer. If you enjoy watching movies based on books or just movies about the love of reading, the 2017 drama, The Bookshop, is for you. This film stars Emily Mortimer and Bill Nighy as Emily plays a free-spirited widow who attempts to open the first ever bookshop in a late 1950s sleepy coastal England town. Is it easy for her? Find out when you view this film from the library's Canopy app for free with your Carmel Clay Public Library card. The book of the same name is also available in our Hoopla app by Penelope Fitzgerald as both an ebook and an audiobook. All right, well, um, I was actually going to recommend a movie this week as well. Um, the one I'm gonna recommend is called The Farewell. It's a 2019 drama written and directed by Lulu Wang. It is based on her own experience of her Chinese family discovering their grandmother's diagnosis of terminal cancer. And instead of telling her, um, what the family decides on um, is that they plan an elaborate wedding to get the whole family together one last time um, for what they assume you know, is her grandmother's um, final last few months. And the film ends up being um, really heartwarming and actually really funny too. And The Farewell and many other excellent films are available to stream now on Canopy. All right, so that's it. And we look forward to seeing you again next week with more CCPL staff members with recommendations of things that you can access from home from our digital collections. Thanks for joining us.